I'm going to actually go all the way back to number nine in the periodic table. This is fluorine. I just got a postcard from my dentist telling me it's time to schedule another dental appointment. I thought about fluoride, the fluoride toothpaste I had just changed to recently. And then I thought about water fluoridation. The government adds fluoride to public water supplies, you know, to reduce tooth decay and hopefully prevent, prevent actually hopefully prevent cavities. I wonder how much water I'd have to drink so I wouldn't have to go to the dentist so regularly. <laughs> Wait a minute. I just read that the fluoride has to work, and for the fluoride to work, it has to remain in contact with the teeth, so fluoride ions that are swallowed aren't going to help me. Maybe I should just gargle water more often. But, but fluoride is just one of the ionic com the compounds of fluorine. And I thought it was funny when I found out that the name of the mineral fluoride is derived from the Latin word flow because it adds, it was added to metals to make them flow. Kind of like water, I suppose, which we now add fluorine to. But you know, it's not just teeth, the fluorine can help. I mean, check this out. Because of the stability of the carbon-fluorine bond, many drugs are fluorinated to stop their metabolism and prolong their half-lives. I didn't know ever however they made those tiny little drugs. Maybe. And now, over 20% of the commercial drugs use fluorine. I mean, scientists have even used the radioactive isotope fluorine-18 with when performing PET scans. And it was amazing that liquid fluorocarbons can hold gas in solution and can even hold more oxygen and carbon than our own blood. Wow, I didn't realize how useful fluorine was to help humans out. But the thing is, fluorine is actually really toxic. Some isotopes are used for insecticides, and fluorine attacks the eyes, lungs, liver, and kidneys. And hydrofluoric acid is a pretty nasty contact poison. And chlorofluorocarbon, chlorofluorocarbon, CFCs, have even been strictly regulated through the International Agreements for the Environment and the Depletion of the Ozone. I mean, the U.S. government even has a slew of signs for the dangers of this element. It's a toxic gas. It's corrosive. It's an inhalation hazard. Wait a minute. I thought that it was supposed to be so good for us. I thought it also would be so bad. So, too much of fluorine in the right way can be devastating for you. And in other ways, it can help our bones or help your medication. Fascinating. I guess this is another way we've learned how to take the bad with the good. Or is it that we've learned how to take the good out of the bad? Maybe I won't start to gargle with the water because of the fluorine. And maybe I should just deal with everyone's inherent fear of the dentist and just go and come out of it with cleaner teeth for the next six months. <laughs> These are also your Wikipedia posts, right? Because before you wrote each one, you had to spend about an hour. Yeah, 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 if you want to research that, at least, yeah.